So DaVinci Resolve has a lot of incredible features. And even in the free version, they just give you so much stuff. It could be overwhelming. However, there is one really awesome feature that I have been using in the paid version in Studio that will probably be a game changer for some people. And it's something that you might not be aware of if you've never used the Studio version. And that feature is the ability to use your GPU. Um, in this case, whether it's your physical GPU that is a separate one or it's an integrated GPU like what I have. So let me show you what I mean by that. So my computer, it is a, I would say a pretty middle of the road computer, but my GPU is really old. And so the processor that I have is an Intel 12th gen um, i7 12700K. And with this version, it actually comes with the integrated GPU or iGPU. So my GPU is from 2016. It's an AMD Radeon RX 470. It has four gigs of RAM. And so definitely not the most powerful GPU out there, especially now in 2023 at the time I'm making this video. So why is this important? Well, whenever you're doing video editing, having a really good GPU does make a difference, not only for your editing, but also for your rendering. So let's see where this feature is. If you go up here to the top left under DaVinci Resolve and then go to preferences, the first thing you see is memory and GPU. And you'll also see this in the free version of DaVinci Resolve as well. However, if you go to decode options in the paid studio version, you have additional features. In this case, you're able to use hardware acceleration to decode H.264 and H.265 codecs, and that's what most people use. So in this case, I could choose from my AMD GPU, or I can use my integrated GPU from my Intel processor, and it uses Intel QuickSync. And from everything that I'm seeing, this iGPU is absolutely awesome whenever it comes to decoding H.264 and H.265 for hardware acceleration. So that's the first thing in the studio version, you just go up here and then you turn this on and choose the iGPU or whatever GPU that you want to use. And now that you've seen how to turn this setting on, let me show you where this feature is so powerful and it could help practically everyone who's using DaVinci Resolve. Now, at least for me, I don't currently do a lot of complex projects and so I can't really tell the difference in terms of a normal editing workflow, you know, within my project timeline. But where I do see the difference all the time is in my rendering or delivery. So if you go here to the delivery tab, and I've already named this one test one, this is important under here, under the export video settings, you can choose your encoder. So here you have it on auto AMD and here's Intel QuickSync and then there's native. So I'm going to choose my AMD GPU. And then we're going to go ahead and add it to the render queue and I'm going to render this. And this video is about 12 minutes long. So it's a pretty long video for me. So let's go ahead and render this and we'll see how long it takes. And so the render has been completed in five minutes and 47 seconds. And the final video is actually a 14 minute video. I thought it was a 12 minute video. So for it to be done within, you know, about six minutes, that is pretty good in my opinion. But now let's go ahead and try it out with the Intel iGPU and see how much of a difference this makes. So I'm going to choose this and I'm going to name this one test two, add it to the render queue and let's go ahead and render this. So, wow, that was completed in one minute and 18 seconds. And let's see here, here's the test video two. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And there it is, same video, 14 minutes long. But the biggest difference, as you could clearly see, is in the render times. Five minutes, 47 seconds versus one minute and 18 seconds, which is huge. Now, this is a great option if you are already going to be buying a processor like the Intel 12700K. And if you do have the option for it to get it with an iGPU, I highly recommend that because in this case, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go out and buy a brand new GPU, especially if you're on a budget. So if you are using DaVinci Resolve, specifically the paid studio version, then definitely take advantage of the GPU acceleration features. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you get better performance out of DaVinci Resolve, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, tips, and tricks, I do have an entire playlist 
I'll leave that in the description area below, and we'll see you on another video. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.